Hello viewers, I'm SP and welcome back to Hades where today, again, I think we're going to try to level up this Lambent Plume. We are at least this time going to get it um, to rank 2 so we'll know how it scales. Uh, and the, the gun might just be a way better fit for it, frankly. Uh, I was thinking a little bit about which aspect we want to be using. Exit we group. just did a clear with Eris, so I think we're going to do Hestia just for, for the sake of changing things up a little bit. And this definitely has a um, has a different sort of feel to it. To be perfectly honest with you, I think that the gun is probably the one where the aspects are the least differentiated. And in particular, uh, I think there's no reason to ever go back to the aspect of Zagreus. Like, the bonus ammo capacity just doesn't... It doesn't feel terribly meaningful in the first place, but then on top of that, you know, there are um, there are hammer upgrades that make this completely irrelevant. And with the other weapons, like, let's look at the gloves, for example. Like, the aspect of Zagreus actually does something. If you put the blood into it, you totally could go for a thing with this. But it's hard to imagine ever wanting to use the gun aspect of Zagreus ever again, right? Alright, is there anything else we want to do? We have three Nectar to take into the run. I don't think I want to spend any more blood on this thing, because, you know, we're in a place where the blood's not coming super quickly. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I think we'll just run in like this. Hope that we get reasonable, um... Hope that we get some reasonable gods here. Hope that we can get some decent... What is, is The plume is dodge and move speed? Yeah. So I don't know that it's necessarily even going to be terribly relevant with the gun, you know, how much dodge we have, but mostly I just want to make sure we level this up and see what the scaling looks like. Time to put in extra work for those bounties. And maybe we'll change things up a little bit, you know, after we... after Tartarus. Just what I wanted. Oh shoot. Manzai, someday you will be the guest of honor at the biggest feast that you have ever seen. Oh, I know you've got your hands full for the time, so first things first. I meant to give him nectar. Uh, so, question. Special Inflicts Hangover seems pretty bad. So is it just Trippy Shot? It's probably just Trippy Shot. Um, obviously Hangover on Attack is pretty solid on the gun. I'm just gonna take this. I know it's the same as our special, but we'll made. just, we'll do a lot of it. Oh, fish. Hold up. We are totally... We're totally gonna take that money, I think. I mean, this is a really strong situation for a palm, though. Now. The hellfish. It should probably be the Erebus Gate. So that's 200 gold. That puts us in immediate shopping range. Yeah, let's do that. I, just, I think a, a palm on our current boon, the only boon we have right now, is going to be really, really strong. My wretches have come to collect. They won't yeah, I got something they can collect. Again, I find myself shooting at the um, shooting at the actual enemy rather than their feet. You know, the Festive Fog is just really solid for fighting enemies with a ranged weapon, in general. It's kind of remarkable how good Festive Fog is against absolutely everyone. Oh, c okay. Come on now. I don't... I don't think that that was necessarily... I feel like I didn't get it. Well, that sucks. We just got no first room then. That is a real bad way to start a run. Did we at least get... We did at least get our plume. Alright, well... That's super frustrating, though. Right, shoot the feet. Or where the feet would be if they had any feet. Wait, really? 
That wasn't even remotely doable. So I'm assuming that the um, the lambent or the the yeah the lambent plume timers are not like set room by room because it's not like you go to a room and you get the same group of enemies in it all the time, right? It's programmatically assembled. So I don't know exactly how the timers for the thing do work, but there are definitely some times where it's just not possible. Uh, does it really not tell me what the current text of the thing is? Okay, well. I guess we'll have to win one and see what it awards us. I'm going to take the hammer because I don't think Athena's particularly relevant for our build. I don't think Athena's particularly relevant for this weapon, like basically at all. I do love Festive Fog. Did we... Nope. Not even close. Just the edge I need. Uh, bouncing attack. Explosive fire. I think I like explosive fire better. With the, uh, with the big, the big damage off the reload and everything. Daedalus power. That ought to be solid, right? Okay. Poseidon. Poseidon we can work with. Even if it is going to produce some weirdness, we're trying to keep enemies in the fog. I guess we're not really trying to keep enemies in the fog, though. It's just, if they're in the fog, they're not a threat. But also, if they're being pushed back, they're not much of a threat. Yeah, the plume thing just went off. So in a lot of rooms, the plume is not even remotely workable. Well, that does reduce its uh, its viability as like a high heat strategy a little bit, I think. Right, no, no hits done. Every single time, every single time we put down the gun and pick up another weapon, I forget about the fact that we get no hits done on normal attacks. Uncle Poseidon, I have a special catch for you, although it pales next to your sheer awesomeness. How would you look at that? Is that an offering to your most favorite uncle, me? You know what, nephew? I've decided I shall take it. Thanks! It's likely, little Hades, that you currently reside just underneath one of my boundless seas. Normally, you'd have to be submerged to use this power, but you know what? Close enough! I am certainly beneath the waves. So, it is a percentage attack damage modifier, and obviously it's a thing that we could apply a lot to like bounce enemies off of walls and stuff. It's probably good. I sure wish it was a higher rarity. If we didn't take this, what would we what would we optimally be looking for? I mean, the dash would be okay, but honestly, I think tempest strike is what we want. Might of the sea. I think that ought to be solid. Uh, so we can just buy this and not go to the shop? I think that's what we're going to do. We weren't going to the shop either way. So. Yep, so just be a little bit careful about knocking enemies out of the uh, AoEs, but... On the whole, I think it's quite powerful. Also, the explosiveness... Uh, I'm wondering if it'll cause knockback in multiple directions. If we fire into a group of enemies, if it will if it will spread them all in different directions. Because that'd be cool, right? Is the Lambert Plume Timer up already? There's still enemies spawning. <laughs> And I do not think that this is one where we were slow at all. Oh man, the festive fog thing could be really good. The lightning strikes in your festive fog. Let's do that. 
Let's head for that. Oh, this place. Seems like the knockback on the empowered shot is considerably greater than the knockback on the normal shots. Like, look at that. Had enough. Lord Zeus. I bid you please accept my humble offering for all you've done for me. Why, that is rather generous of you, and I'm grateful for it, nephew. How good of you to make attempts at reciprocity. The Lady Demeter still prattles on about her missing girl, Zagreus. But I want you to understand something, all right? She is gone. We all have grieved. Perhaps Demeter shall finally accept what has occurred, and we can move forward, having grown stronger as a family. Okay, so what do we... First of all, like, seems pretty heartless. Secondly, what do we need for this duo boon? Because it is a good one. Strike, flourish, dash, or aid. Well, we are being offered a pretty good version of dash. I'm okay with that. I think that's a reasonable boon for us to take here. And I think we have a small enough number of boons that this still has a pretty good chance of hitting Festive Fog. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was kinda hoping we were gonna get Zeus special or Zeus Lightning on special. This is totally fine. And it means we can dash through a group of enemies to uh, quickly strip their their blue armor. Well, at least that time we were kind of close to the plume. Delicious. Uh, yep, that's a winner. We probably need the heart, right? We don't really have that much HP. But, like, the later in the run we get, the worse palms are going to get, so we might want to take the palm now. Okay, we should definitely do this. All right, rushes, get to work. I am enjoying this build quite a bit. Just like dash reload constantly while shooting huge AoEs. Huh, useless. Good enough. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to take the pomegranate. I'm going to trust in our ability to stay away from the enemies to function as health. Yeah, maybe you should have let me push you back, huh? This is the price you pay for staying in the circle. Yeah, man, I don't know. These, um... Some of these Lambent Plume Timers seem completely impossible. I guess maybe they're not... I think we're using the mirror thing that gives multiple, or it gives more enemies, like 15% additional enemies on normal encounters. But, first of all, obviously I would expect that the plume timer would be adjusted for that. And secondly, it's only 15%. The power of the gods. Got some zest. Alright, it is a very. It's so a very uh, festive fog focused build at the, <laughs> at the moment. But I mean, we just have a ton of area damage. We are very, very good at dealing with grouped up enemies. You, I don't think we're giving nectar to. I think we want to focus on Olympians here. 
And Cerberus, obviously. Possibilities can be tedious to choose from. So let me provide you with a significantly smaller set with which you may yet change the fate's designs. Okay, obviously I was looking for big cast damage boost. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll for it even. That's how much I want it. Okay, that's not big, but it's good. Alright, and I do love Nectar. More wretches. Alright, I managed to manage to push that guy to break his blue armor without pushing him out of the AoE. I think that's a skill that's going to be very important for us here. The Lambent Plume Timer is already up. See, I feel like most of the time the Plume Timer is up significantly before we are done getting spawns. Which just means that it's completely impossible, right? But you know the spawns aren't timed. The spawns are based on the speed that we're killing stuff, and we could get those spawns earlier by killing stuff faster, but... Not faster enough! Right? There's no way. The perfect gift. So, a whole bunch of money or a centaur heart. Well, I do love a centaur heart. That said, <laughs> we are spending very quickly. We should take the heart. Yeah, that feels pretty good. That feels very powerful. So I want to, like, if there's enemies nearby, I want to break their armor with dashes, not with shooting. That's a thing that I'm going to have to get a little bit used to with this build. We took a huge amount of damage there. Consider this didn't, I, didn't I get bit by one guy? I mean, I guess not. I guess it must have been worse than I thought. the amount of lasers that we are up against here. Ah, that's enough. Now to collect. Okay, 93 is not great. It's definitely hoping to have closer to 250. Well, I'm certainly not going to take Palm over Boon, right? I mean... We do not have a very good Athena boon available, really. And maybe it is right to take the palm. No, probably not. The river boatman Charon is beholden to your father's realm, but seems agreeable enough for a fair price. I just think Athena is like especially bad for us. Uh, like this is not very fun. Show me, show me something better. Okay, hol like Holy Shield and Bronze Skin are... Ugh, boy. <laughs> holy Shield, I guess. Strength of the Goddess. Prevents me from getting comboed. But yeah, Athena was just a really bad fit. Uh... <laughs> I gotta ask, how come you keep on showing up, Red Blood? I thought you would have had enough beatings by now. You know, that's funny. I was just thinking the same thing about you. Well, you know, I've come to enjoy these visits with you so much, Electo, that I've made it something of a regular routine. Form good habits and then stick to them, I say. You call this a good habit, huh? Maybe for me it is. Well, come here all you like, and I will be here waiting every single time. About once every three times, anyway. No, it's definitely way more frequent than that. Attack! Right Why can't it just be to Sif, you know? Ugh, 
My dash is still really short. So, of course, it had to be a Lecto. Is Electa with Tisiphone backup the worst possible outcome for us with short dash? I think it might actually be. Yep, that's gonna get hit. Man, that is that is hitting me. Her her tackle is hitting me through my dash very consistently. I wonder if the I wouldn't expect so, but I wonder if the dash range thing has also changed, like, the speed the animation plays out at or something? I mean, it might just be me. Um, she's moving just enough to not get hit by anything I do. Yeah, I'm real tired of fighting Electo. We could never fight Electo again and it would be okay. My weapon shuddered at the touch of it. Oh, more blood. More blood is good. We need lots more blood. Here's the thing about blood. You can never, ever have enough of it. Just just keep jamming it in there. Next stop, All right. Asphodel. So obviously we're unequipping Let's this. See here. Really? It scaled up 0.1%. So at rank, at rank 3, it's going to be 1.2. That's a lot less compelling than I thought it was going to be. And especially given the fact that we we have now seen plenty of evidence that a number of the rooms are just impossible to pull, uh, unlike, say, the butterfly, I, yeah, I think this is maybe just garbage, actually. <laughs> so, what do we want? I mean, as always, Adamant Arrowhead is good. Maybe that's what we want. Maybe we just take that. I do like the Palm Blossom in a general sense. I'm trying to think, like, what other gods would we really... Zeus and Poseidon together are pretty good. You know what I actually probably want more than more gods in here is I want to pull more of those Poseidon pushback-related boons. Because if we could get Rupture and when enemies get pushed back, they get lightning bolted and stuff. I think, I think we're going to push Poseidon. We're going to try to go deeper on Poseidon stuff. I feel like Poseidon more than any other god rewards you for really specializing. Uh, Holy Shield's bad, but it's also our only Athena boon, and I'm reluctant to purge it because it's also got 5% damage attached to it. Yeah, I'm not. As much as I would like to buy the, the extra health, I think that's a bad idea. Good. change of scenery at least okay nothing interesting to do here and we get that Poseidon boon right away no Hermes nonsense getting in the way ah I gotta say I do not much care for the fact that uh, somehow that guy only got hit by one of the two completely overlapping AoEs that we hit him with so his, his blue health broke and then he took no further damage. There we go. This is how you do it. Just hit one guy with the big AoE and then shoot somebody else for a while. Yeah, I really like the amount of pushback you get on the empowered shot. That's... That's really cool. I wonder if the Empowered Shot also magnifies other effects of boons. You like that I don't know how that would work exactly. Olympus, I accept this message. Uh, Razor Shoals seems like a big winner. We don't actually want our special to knock foes away. We, we do not want to be pushing people out of the fog. Okay, I'm overjoyed to have rare Razor Shoals. That's real good. And I'm having a hell of a time getting any value out of my AoEs in this room. I 
I hope he's taking rupture damage the whole time he's up there. Yeah, it looks like he probably was. Based on the amount of health he had left. Okay, some of our AoEs are hitting some of the time. Well, we certainly can't go shopping on 95 gold. All aboard. I would love to see some more boons. I feel like we've been we've been getting a little bit shorted on boons this run. Okay, I gotta have a little bit more wherewithal. I need, to, I need to be casting earlier. It's really bad if I'm not shooting because I'm waiting for an AoE to fall. It's a lot of lost damage, man. I wonder if, um, if those Hydra Heads are counted as moving when they go underground and disappear. Like, whether that's a teleport or whether they are actually... Uh, traveling that distance, and thus taking damage from Rupture. Alright, 175 is not too, too bad for our max health this far into the run. Uh, I think we want to go this way, right? I would prefer... I prefer Dionysus' call, but Poseidon's is certainly fine. There's a bunch of other stuff Poseidon gives you that I would like, though. Although I guess that's true of Dionysus as well. They're both they're both gods that have a lot of cool boons. Oh right. Okay, is she gonna do that every time I'm about to land a cast on her? Because that's annoying. Okay, this sucks. No matter where no matter where I try to dash to, there's always lava already waiting for me. And yes, she is in fact going to do that every single time I try to cast on her. That sucks. Alright, she's down. Okay, well, very cross about that, obviously. Usually you don't take damage the instant you touch lava. It usually takes a couple of frames, right? Hear me on my authority. I was going a little slower than usual because I was going to, like, sort of step into it and dash across to make sure that I wouldn't miss it with the one dash because I needed the second dash to be available for dashing sort of, like, up and to the left to not get hit by the wave. Um, but it just functioned way differently than it normally functions. I guess we'll take this, it's fine. I don't think that that is bad enough that we need a reroll or anything. Yeah, I would definitely say that like the most annoying most annoying hits and deaths are the ones where it seems like a thing, at the very least I am perceiving a thing as having functioned differently than usual in order to kill me. Always a bad feeling. Yeah, that's, I think, a little bit more how I want to be doing this. I want to be using this as reload time. Okay, I think that was the last of the casters. Set. Is you, boss? That's good. But you're standing still. That's bad. Let's get you up and moving about again. All right? He is also an Olympian, and I should probably be giving him bloodstones. Uh, I mean, I guess auto reload is cool. The problem with this is that it's such a small effect. 
Like, the thing that it does is good, but it needs to be... At, at twice this effectiveness, I still would be unlikely to take it, I think. So I guess let's grab... And I guess we're getting some keys. Boy, yeah, this is... I feel like we've had a really, really bad run in terms of room rewards. Had a lot of crummy choices, a lot of low tier options. Yes. And like, as much as it is nice to have rerolls available, they're a lot less useful if you never get to make boon choices. That's definitely the wrong order for those. Using this thing to break the shield. So that they can get the full force of the Dionysus boom. And now I'm trying to correct it and knocking them out of everything. It was nice of him to jump over into that. Because I kind of fired it at nobody. I shot it at that witch after the witch was already dead, I'm pretty sure. Come forth, fishes. It's like, this is my biggest concern about running around while low on money. Come on up. Anytime we're below the shop threshold. I really feel like the game loves to show you shop versus like, very weak reward. Like, it's shop versus palm a lot, right? And obviously, heart's not awful, but I would prefer not to be taking heart right now with this weapon. I don't know exactly how much health we need, but it's not nearly as much as it is with, like, a melee weapon. But if you don't have enough money to get a boon from the shop, then you just stop getting boons altogether, it feels like, sometimes. Not really in a talking mood this time, Lenny. And there's a really considerable gap between um, between you firing the special and the moment you can fire your cast. Alright, that was a pretty good guess. Come on, you flying bastard. Ah, uh, every time I move somewhere, a new score a new head pops out of the ground there, or pops out of the lava and immediately does a ground smash. Okay, this is maybe enough range attack. Let's maybe go over here. Yep. Huh. It's a shame that that's hitting for 437 instead of the 450 it's supposed to be hitting for. Because it looks like 437 is a very, very small amount less than their full health bar. So I think the um, I think the 13 damage that they're not taking for whatever reason is actually preventing it from one-shotting their health bar. I'll take that. Well, this is going horribly. Nearly lost a second death defiance in Asphodel. All right, uh, we have to buy this. Man, we gotta keep. We gotta get our stuff together, man. Bye, Asphodel. Check. I mean, the fountain. The fountain has given us a new lease on this life, so I just gotta start playing further away from everybody all the time. 
Sure, you could say better, but what if I just played further away? Then I could keep playing badly and probably not get punished for it so much. Um, we got no money at all. I think no money at all is a real rough position to be in. Am I interrupting something? Boy, it feels like there are some angles where the gun just shoots in a completely different place than you told it to shoot. And I assume it's related to the, the weird perspective issues that make you have to click on an enemy, enemy's feet instead of the enemy to shoot them. So close. But boy, it sure is, um, it sure is frustrating sometimes. Yeah, man, if we got the, uh, the boon that caused us to deal bonus damage to enemies that are getting slammed against stuff, or the one that caused enemies to... enemies who get slammed against stuff to emit an explosion, or the one that makes your knockbacks do a second knockback, or... There's so many good Poseidon boons available, and we actually got shown just the one that we completely forced. Okay, this guy needs to stop being able to shoot me while... Uh, somehow not taking any damage from the traps that he is standing full in the path of. Because that was definitely my my big thought there was, well, with him standing right there, we probably don't have to worry about him too, too much. He'll get blown up, but apparently he is, uh, he is able to just phase through the big arrows. Honestly, it almost feels like it's not even worth using our special anymore. You have such good AoE damage options, and it's it's doing such a small amount of damage for the setup time. I had to say, having no, um, having no hit stun is far more annoying here than it is pretty much anywhere else. I think even in sticks it's less of a problem, although against the satyrs it's still an issue, obviously. Also, these guys do not get stunned by the festive fog to nearly the degree that other enemies do. Man, I figured that uh, that I didn't need to be watched too closely because we got the rupture on it. But apparently, while putting the rupture on it, I moved it directly onto the weapon it was going to use to regen. So not so good. Hmm. I think. So. Seeking fire, maybe? A percentage damage boost on... Yeah, I, I think that's right. And plus, this reduces the chance of our... Um, of our charged up shot missing people. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think we are going to do this. Don't make father mad. This could be... Um, this one could go poorly. We've seen some I'd rough like stuff in the gates at this uh, this late in. I don't think that I'm hitting deep enough to deal damage to the crystal. Yeah, this is sort of what I was talking about. It's going to be so easy to just take a random hit from a, um, yep, from a butterfly. Like, it's literally impossible not to get hit by butterflies in some situations. And the fact that the, uh, the blue crystal just took no damage from anything we did to it right after it spawned certainly sucks. I find it hard to believe that it didn't get hit by any of those shots. Like, to the point where it's still... I guess it could have been another one, but they definitely... Should not be cause should not be spawning additional blue crystals completely off screen. I 
also. I don't understand how that, um... I don't understand how that shot bounced and didn't land on top of the butterfly ball. <sighs> well, I mean, we don't actually have a choice now. We just took a blank room, so we do, in fact, have to get more boons to make up for it since we were behind on boons already. But this is going to kill us. <laughs> this is like a pretty good chance. Congratulations, you made the right choice. Uh, I think Thunder Flourish is okay. We do already have a source of lightning bolts that I think will serve for the duo. Yeah. So maybe we just take Clouded Judgment instead? Or even High Voltage. High Voltage means that we're getting more multi-hits off of our dashes. It's already multi-hit. I'm going to take Thunder Flourish. We are still using the special. Oh, I'm absolutely flabbergasted, nephew. I offer you the finest blessings of the earth and sea, and they're not good enough. The sight won't like this. Here comes his wrath. Yep, here's the wrath. We just gotta keep an eye out for it. are a little bit faster than I am. They do not turn particularly tightly. But we're gonna have to not just try to outrun them directly. Course, it goes without saying that it's gonna be another wave after this even probably because, you know, you know how Elysium is. Too much happening, we're being attacked from too many sides at too many distances simultaneously. Fucking lack of hit stop. We just got an achievement there, and I don't know why. Well, that was truly finally fought indeed, nephew. And I have a suitable reward here just for you. Don't even know what I was mad about. I mean, that achievement sort of seemed like it was just telling me that I'm doing a bad job at at making... Like, that when I pressed that call, that was a stupid thing to do. Which feels shitty. Uh, man, Wave Pounding and Breaking Wave are both, I think, pretty compelling here. And obviously the fact that their base rarity sucks. But... Your boons with knockaway effects deal bonus damage to bosses. So the way this is worded is a little bit unclear. Will Hades take 20% of the 30% bonus damage on our attack? Or will he take 20% of the full damage of the attack? Because it doesn't, it doesn't say your attacks affected by boons with knockaway effects. It says the boon deals bonus damage. Hmm... I think Breaking Wave is better in general, but obviously Wave Pounding is... We'll take this right now. It's going to be hard enough to get through Elysium. We, we hope to also get the other one later. I think both of the boons we got from this were pretty solid. Things I am happy enough to have. So sometimes when you shoot them while they're shielding, it still pushes them back, but not always. There might be a limited number of times, it looks like, maybe. Because my plan there was just, well, let's see if we can shove them into the wall and let the uh, let Poseidon sort them out. There we go. Unfortunately, that means all I did was hit him for one with our, uh, with our fog, but at least I did manage to push him into it. Alright, 
Well, obviously, chariots are less of a problem with this weapon than probably any other. But still, they suck. Still, they're really, really bad. Okay. My homing shot sought around him and hit him from a different angle to push him to the place where it would be bad for him to be. Just so that we could always, we could, we could be guaranteed to always, always, always have a bad time with chariots. The gods decreed it must never seem like whatever what's going on with the chariot is fun. This is the reason they are in the game. Lord Hermes, sir, you fast for nothing in return, and so please take this humble offering, because it's nothing, really. Well, no, that's awful kind, that close. No need to thank me, though. Not so profusely, anyhow. Olympus, I accept this message. Ugh, man, we only ever see greater evasion at common, it feels like. Alright, what am I what am I looking for here? I mean, that's Greater Evasion's probably the only thing he has that's valuable to us at this point. Hermes is kind of rough, because he's just like, he's a very weak boon giver with like one or two really, really strong exceptions. It's hard to ever be hopeful coming into a Hermes room. Get off the pots, dude. Well... This one. I guess let's take the heart. Okay, it's a lot of set. Awful lot of shield guys for one run. Of course, they're going to uh, they're going to all turn and face us all of the time. It's impossible to deal with these guys. These guys are definitely the ones that are the most annoying in groups. The archers are close. But I do I do think these guys edge them out just for the huge frustration of trying to fight them when they're all facing different directions. And like you dash behind them and some of them turn around and some of them run through to try to attack you. And ordinarily, you would punish them for doing that, but you can't because the other ones are blocking for them. Man. Also, I definitely feel like I'm getting hit by the, the little purple blades of energy thing they do uh, a lot this run, which is frustrating. Alright, I need like a complete health refill. Dionysus versus a Chaos Gate. I mean, we're late enough. Yeah, it's Chapter 32, so if we... Or Chamber 32. So if we take a Chaos Penalty at this point, it will be active for the bosses, which I think is a really bad idea. I just need a shop that has an actual... Like, a, a shop or a well that has a decent amount of food in it. We've had we've been really struggling to regain any health. Basically all of Elysium. Oh, the first time in history a sword guy has not charged forward. Okay, that worked pretty well. Turns out the, uh, the pushback from the attack doesn't matter as much if you just hit them right as the other thing lands. Throw stuff out, reload, dash in as we're doing that. And that way we break the shield with the lightning bolt and we get our empowered shot right afterward. And then we get full actual damage off of all of our big AoEs. Unless the enemy decides that they have not spawned in yet when we dash, in which case they suffer no consequences. Oof. 
So I was just saying, the sword guys, or the shield guys, are the most annoying in groups, but the archer guys are real close. And I should not have said such a thing out loud, because clearly the game heard that. I'm not a big fan of how hard it is turning out to be to actually kill these guys while called. The Poseidon call is, by a large margin, the worst one, I think. The Athena one's not great, um, but at least it lets you still continue to use your normal attacks. Lord Dionysus, mate, you have made the mood down here materially less miserable, and I am much obliged. What is that for me? Why, Zag, I mean, you really shouldn't have. You know I can't get enough of this stuff, right? All right, let's hope for that duo. Whew. Okay, hard to argue with. Cheers to that. Uh, oh, I think we got to do this for the hydrolite, right? Stranger, never quite considered. You're related to the gods upon Olympus, aren't you, stranger? I should be far more careful around you. What do you mean by that, sir? Though, yes, my father being who he is, it means I have a lot of uncles, cousins, and the like up on the surface there. Well, you would be wise to watch yourself with some of them, I think. Don't get on anyone's bad side if you can help it. Which, when I yet lived, none of us could. Yeah, they sort of make it their business to put Just people on their bad out. sides. Yeah, they go a long way out of their way to make sure it happens. Alright, show me boon plus something interesting. Well, this is fine, I guess. Uh, at this point, the festive fog, the continuing to level this up is getting a little bit weaker. I might go this way. We cannot effectively communicate with Charon from Olympus, but he is amenable to certain trades and seems unfettered by your father's influence. Uh, huh. I don't think any of these are good. <laughs> like, again, Brilliant Repost is really not good if the only, uh, if the only deflect you have is the revenge thing. So I guess I'm gonna reroll here. We have a lot of reroll points, because the game has kept forcing keys on us. It goes without saying that if they're gonna offer us bronze skin, it has to not be epic. Just, just absolutely brutal. We're getting our asses kicked here. The random number generator is kicking the crap out of me. I guess I didn't need to buy that food. The hydrolite was going to put us back to pretty much full anyway. That was a waste. So, dare you clash against the champion of Elysium and his most trusted friend? Do I have a choice? Am I allowed to not? Jesus, did I just get hit multiple times by that charge? I believe I did. Of course, the instant I move into the center, the charge begins. I'm doing a terrible job of dodging everything they're doing. impervious because that's what they do when you call Oof. yeah also this is not a problem with the calls this is a this is a me problem but any call that makes you impervious pretty much guarantees that I will get hit when the imperviousness ends because I do not run away fast enough Yeah, the Poseidon call is definitely, by a large margin, the worst one, though. With the setup we have and the setup we were going for at the time, I think it makes a lot of sense to go for it, because, like, more sources of knockback are good. Next. 
I do appreciate him just like running the rupture damage as fast as he possibly can. As long as we just keep shooting him every like three to five seconds, he will absolutely destroy his own chariot without me having to do anything. But you do make it pretty easy. Huh, my call just did not... I guess I thought I had greater call up already? Really thought I had uh, had greater call there. Well, we managed to get out of it without spending a death defiance at least, but only narrowly. I think there's a there's a pretty good chance that we are going to win this run, uh, based entirely on the fact that we get to stand far away from Hades <laughs> while fighting, because uh, I am not playing super well today. Or rather, I am playing very poorly today, is a more accurate way of putting that. Alright, so we have a spare Dusa charge that we can just use in a tricky room to the in sticks, and then still have one for the final boss. Um, so we'll, we'll use that at the end of a branch. I wonder if she can petrify the mini-bosses. What's with the air up here? I'm just getting hung up on all kinds of garbage in the environment, and... Uh, I'm not... F I think... I think we are seeing a lot of evidence that I am not focused in the way that I need to be focused. Alright, so up here we're putting a lot of... Uh, priority on boons from Poseidon and Zeus, because their duo would still be really good. I believe it's it causes right. you to get um, lightning strikes from boons that have pushback, not boons that successfully do pushback. Right, so it still works on bosses. Uh, it says when you knock foes away. I don't know if that'll trigger on bosses or not, because most, bo most bosses do not get knocked away. Alright, we do have a Poseidon up here. All right, well, let's get the heart first. I'm, I'm happy to see lots of Poseidons. There's still, still cool Poseidon stuff to take. Yep, I think we took the uh, the right one when offered, when offered the bounce off walls boon versus the bonus damage against bosses boon. But I am gonna hope that we get the the boss version of the boss one again in these last couple of boons that we are offered here. Don't much care for the rat spawning directly under me. The trippy fog does do a pretty good job of, um, or the festive fog rather, does do a pretty good job of countering the fact that we have no hit stun though. At least gives us a little bit of control over our enemies. Can't quite get acclimated to this smell. You know what? This seems fine. This is, in fact, your big chance. Well, she is not petrifying, but she is still doing good damage. And she's petrifying the vermin. Is she telling me that she understands that me shooting through her... Sh is not me trying to kill her, or is she apologizing for something else? Alright, well that seems like a pretty good start. A pretty good start to the sticks. Although it was sure not a lot of money. I don't think I care about a palm, so... Let's go this way, and hopefully this will be enough money to buy the one from the shop. Wow, that was something. I don't even know what happened up here. 
I wonder, maybe one of them got hit by a saw blade and it bounced them into the wall and then just started the chain reaction. I believe it says on the boon uh, that it causes an explosion around enemies who are knocked into walls, but I'm pretty sure, based on our observations, that it works on enemies who are knocked into anything, including other enemies. Which makes it even better than it looks like, and it looks like it's going to be pretty good. I don't... If this is the final chamber, or if this is the final branch, if we actually do find the thing at the end of this branch, I really don't want to come out of here with less than 150 gold. So I think we're not going to buy that, even though a second stone would be pretty good damage. Found it fast this time. Okay, yep, we would have been a little bit short. Uh... Reroll looking for the boss damage thing? Let's see what else. Yeah, there you go, an epic version of it. Let's make some waves, right, Uncle? I am rewarded. Oh, what is this stuff? So I'm hoping that that's just plus 40% uh, that's on offer here. Plus 40% damage on our attack, which is pretty good. Just what I need. And how about some other boons instead? Show me... Okay. If I'm playing poorly and getting hit a lot, we'll at least get to do 450 damage a whole bunch of times. The prince persuades the Underworld's ferocious guardian to move aside. Thank you, boy. Made it again. Alright, I think this last um this last stretch of victories has been really good for our resources. We kind of ran out of everything, so um it's been nice to replenish. But at some point we do want to turn the heat up and start trying the 32 if we think we're gonna actually go for it. Well, Zagreus, even if I vanquish you, arriving here is a sufficient feat. Well, I'm glad you think so. Sorry. Go. Oh. No. Ah. Bad time to get stuck. What? I, huh. I reloaded and fired once, and then holding down the mouse button wasn't causing me to shoot anymore. Certainly true. Exactly Alright, we didn't get the duo we were looking for with the Zeus and Poseidon thing, but honestly, I think we're still in a uh, still in a really good spot here. We got a powerful build going. I hate it when they're up against stuff. That makes it so much harder to get the um, get the repeated hits. I did not have my eye on the bloodstone on that one. You know, that common English phrase, don't take your eye off the bloodstone. Zeus seems very... Or Dusa, rather. Seems very fixated on Hades. I was really kind of hoping she was going to help out a little bit more with those summons. Oh. Ah, this is a waste. Yeah, that, that should have waited. I shall not fall to you again. Does it always take him that long to do that animation? I thought for sure I had timed that right. When I pressed the button, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, look at this. Look what a good job I'm doing. And then it turned out not to be a good job at all. all 
I would love for him to spend a lot of time casting on this one, because we have we have really good tools for damaging him while he's doing that in perfect safety. Oh, it's not it's not curving around. It's supposed to be curving around. Okay, well this is a nightmare. This is this is gonna go really poorly. Yep. Also, there is absolutely a maximum range on those. You can't just fire them that far away. There we go. Now it's working. I yes, I see that. You see that? You see me back off? Cognizant of the fact that my thing was coming to an end and not wanting to die horribly? That's progress right there. Yeah, so I feel like on most of our... most of our recent Hades victories... We've been in a place where we could totally have beaten him on extreme measures. Oh, that, there it is. I was gonna say that Bloodstone was supposed to have blown up and sent a wave at us. Uh, were it not for all my wretched kin upon Olympus, you... Well... done. Boy. Right, because phase three would have been more difficult here, um, with this strategy, because I, I would have been out of vision of him a lot. Which would have been more annoying than <laughs> than anything, but it would it would maybe have caused us to lose. Um, but on the last run, for example, I think probably the difference between extreme measures and and not would have been relatively small. I mean, like what phase two is like twice as long, and then phase three is just phase two again. I think we could easily have handled it last time. So. I don't feel too bad about not having it turned on, because I think it kind of just makes the last fight a little bit more tedious. Although, again, I will say, the music is its own reward. his mother's cottage in the cold, loudly speaking Zagreus calls out to hear the echo of his voice. The blast of sound, causing a substantive amount of ice and snow to break off from a nearby mountaintop and fall, and fall, and... How? Well, that's just bad luck is what that is. I'm back. Huh. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Hades. Just come on in. Thought I had you there. I mean, why? <laughs> it wasn't even particularly close. I think I see that look again, if I'm not mistaken in it, lad. What's on your mind? If you'd like to share, I'm listening. Oh, it's just... Sometimes I find my thoughts, they wander between those I care about. It's not just one. You mortals, typically you had a single suitor, did you not? <laughs> well... So we often told each other, yes. But you're not like us mortals, or us shades. Nor are most of the others here. You gods. I cannot think of even one who had a single mate. Although your father, maybe he is one. I like the way Achilles just sort of, like, brushed aside Zagreus' question without really answering it, because, listen, you don't want to hear all this. Wait, you're saying father. He was never with somebody else besides my mother. Well, I, of course, don't know so very much about him, lad. But that's the way of it from what I've learned. You needn't follow in his footsteps, though. I think you know that well enough by now. Achilles giving me explicit permission to be Polly. Hello, decorative object. We haven't even been nudging our statues. What am I doing? I do wish. I'll tell you what. I would. I would pay an in-game currency cost to just have the the Phase Two Hades music replaced with the Phase Three Hades music. So, how has it been between you and your father lately, Zagreus? I know the two of you have lots of work ahead of you, especially him. Well, it's been all right, I guess. I think he's set in some of his ways. But at least we have some sort of understanding now. 
Even if he acts like everything is still the same when I'm out there on the job. He says it's so you put forth your fullest effort every time. All this is a big adjustment for him as well. Not that it's any excuse for how he's treated you. Are you... all right, seeing us together? Yes, I'm glad for you. Huh, weird question. So help me, boy, I cannot fathom why you would have bought back the authority to enter the administrative chamber once again. I knew you thought I'd never do it under any circumstances, Father. That seemed reason enough. Though fear not, I've no plans to reapply for a position there. That does alleviate a deeply rooted fear of mine, in fact. The scene <laughs> you caused in your brief time there yet remains a widely talked about event among the shades who toil for me still. I assume they're talking about me being selfish enough to use up all the blueberry. I'll be sure to say hello. <laughs> and tell them where to hang in. Uh, why am I even looking over here? We're not going to spend gemstones on this stuff. Although, somehow, we are still unlocking new items. Ooh. Moody, death-like flames. You know what? I know I just said I'm not going to spend gemstones on this stuff anymore because we, you know, we're desperate for nectar. But also, Thanatos sure would like some death-like flames, I bet. Now, what do we unlock here? A treat-filled jar. Aw. Okay, we're buying that. approved. That's adorable. Don't touch these things. Although some shades seem to enjoy them fine. You know, when I was younger, I had a friend who liked milk bones. He just he just liked to eat milk bones. Even among those born longest to go within the deepest reaches of the underworld, I have seldom encountered anyone so united with the darkness of this domain as you are, child. United with the darkness, I've just been picking it up here and there, although for quite a while since you mentioned it. I'm not sure that I feel any different, though. Surely that is not so. Think back on when you started all of this. You now know so much more, are capable of so much more. Huh, I suppose. We are still quite far away from what I'm assuming is the final upgrade on the mirror. Please make yourselves at home. Well, how could this possibly be my fault? I hear you, Shane. I get it. Meg, what's going on with Nix and Dusa, do you know? I think they've been butting heads a bit lately. I can't imagine why. Nix has her under strict orders, yet you keep on stopping by for your little chats. You think she doesn't notice? And what does she care? I talk to everybody around here at least a bit. <laughs> you know, each time I come back. It's not my business, Ag. Not even for Dusa, but you watch yourself. How is this my fault? I do feel bad that I'm getting her into trouble, though. Those spice is working out all right. Seems it would be kind of neat if making, like, improvements to this area of the kitchen maybe increase the payout you get for your fish or something. Um... Hmm... You know what? That is 60% of a nectar. I think I will do that. Here's your darkness. I'll buy that. Let's have that nectar. You know what? Give me one more. Sure, why not? We are going to need a whole hell of a lot of this stuff. So am I... Let's You're check in with the bats here. Temporarily. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. I should probably buy some more paintings and stuff, but you know, right now I'm I'm worried about going too deep on the uh, on the gemstones because man, we are burning through that nectar. I guess we could buy even more. Hold on, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna commit a little bit more here. It's a deal. Here's the gemstones. Let's take five down there with us. I don't even it's know if there are five gods that we're still giving it to, but better to have too much than not enough, right? And we're certainly not going to care about the missing gemstones. So I didn't I didn't talk to Ares, so we don't get this. It's the thing I should probably do sometime soon. Still waiting on a hell of a lot of darkness. On the runs where we um where we actually do a good job and we yeah, you know, we beat Hades. We are reducing the amount of darkness we're going to get on future runs by not having to pull darkness rewards from the earlier bosses, I guess. Do we have a weapon that's still... 
still needs a reset. I, oh, you know what? Maybe the bow, because we did lose our Rama run. Okay. I think that practicing's going quite well, personally. How's it going? What has the thirst? The gloves have the thirst, but I'm pretty sure Rama... Yeah. Rama could use a reset, and Rama will feed us a whole bunch of darkness. So I think this is what we'll do next round. And if we, uh... If we don't get some idea of what we need to do to get the final aspect by the end of next episode, I might just go look it up. Alright, I think that probably is where we ought to stop for today. A little bit out of time here. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, I'm going to maybe finally do this bow some justice. And we'll see you then.